Hey Pisces, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are all doing well. This is your general tarot reading for mid to late September 2022. And we're going to see what messages are coming out for you guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe if you enjoy these readings and you want more just like this one. This could be a love, romantic connection. It could be a business partnership, friendship, family connection. Take it how it resonates, okay? You may be a Pisces or you're dealing with a Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements. I do offer tower readings, video recorded, as well as Etsy message. All the information's in the description box. All right, so let's jump right in. Messages for Pisces. What's going on with Pisces out there? All right, the biggest challenge for you, Pisces, is the lovers. So maybe you are very strongly connected to someone in particular. This could be like a strong soul connection, a spiritual connection. And it feels like someone is reluctant to make a decision. A decision has to be made, okay? And lovers is telling me that there could be a decision being made regarding whether to come together in some kind of spiritual union, come together in the flesh, okay? Um, it's in a challenge. So it makes me feel like is someone pushing back? Is someone running away? Is someone not in a place where they're ready to surrender? So maybe making this decision is very difficult. Maybe you, you know, you want some kind of movement. And someone is putting off making a decision. All right, so let's see. In the recent past, Pisces, we have this King of Cups energy. That's you as a Pisces. Um, we do have the Five of Wands and the Seven of Swords. All right, so in the past, it does feel like Pisces, you had to emotionally cut off or hold back from this person. Um, it feels like there was a lot of conflict, resistance, fighting. It just feels like there was some butting of heads, okay? The Seven of Swords can be maybe this person did something where you didn't appreciate it. You found to be untrustworthy, okay? The Seven of Swords could be they lied. They went behind your back. They deceived you, okay? They tried to get away with something. And so you may look at them differently. You may also not trust them um, on the emotional level. You may not trust them with your heart because that King of Cups in the verse is kind of holding back. So there could be definitely other people involved. Five of Wands can talk about family, meddling, friends, okay, or just other people interfering in some way, creating more conflict and chaos. All right, the current energy Pisces is a Nine of Wands, Two of Wands, and a Verse, and a Fool. So it feels like Pisces, there could be energy of really, really wanting something to play out, really, really wanting to fight for something. Nine of Wands is perseverance. It's dedication. It's like, how hard are you willing to work at this? How much does it mean to you? Do you desire this? Do you, literally do you desire, right? Two of Wands in a verse, again, there could be a decision being made. It feels like <laughs> it could be finally being made right now, coming into the near future. The current energy can play out at any time um, through the month of September into October. The full card is here as well. So it feels like someone may be wanting a new um beginning with you may have gotten some kind of realization that they do want some kind of change forward it's a risk right someone may be putting themselves out there with the full card asking you to you know make a decision regarding them or you know coming to you with an opportunity now the full card could be very immature energy maybe someone isn't really thinking about the ins and outs of the consequences of this new beginning but the two wands in a verse it feels like someone is getting out of this place of indecision they're no longer going back and forth nine of wands is like i'm willing to fight for this this is really what i want i'm willing to show you so your energy pisces is a queen of cups Two of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles in a verse. So upon first looking at this, Pisces, you may be going through a very emotional time. There could be a lot of emotional ups and downs, like a roller coaster energy. You may be trying to find balance, okay, with regard to this partnership, regarding just life in general. Two of Pentacles could be, you know, kind of back and forth between two things, two opportunities, two paths. It also could speak about you having many responsibilities and having to juggle them all. But again, paired with the Queen of Cups, it could speak about emotional instabilities, ups and downs, okay? A lot of confusion. And I feel like because of that, Pisces, there's something here where you have to give it careful thought. There's a very cautious energy in how you approach something or someone. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Knight of Pentacles in the verse it almost makes me feel like maybe there's someone where you're questioning if stability is even possible okay especially if you've gone through something maybe there's some history here in the foundation what you need to know pisces with this person we have the 
Magician in reverse, we have the Hierophant, the Knight of Wands, and the Death in reverse. We got three major arcanas here. So, Pisces, there definitely is a situation here where maybe your person hasn't tried, maybe they really haven't tried to work to manifest something here um, that you guys ought to have. You know, there's the energy where they are thinking about commitment. That is something on your mind. Um, what commitment would entail? What does commitment look like? What would it require of them? <laughs> would they have to make a big sacrifice? Commitment is definitely on their mind, okay? Taurus energy. Now, with the Knight of Wands, they are coming to you with that Knight energy. Very, very um, quick, fast moving, in perseverance of something. Wands is movement, action, change, okay? So it feels like your person may be wanting to come towards you. And with the death in a verse, it almost makes me feel like if something has ended, Pisces, maybe it has ended pre prematurely or very abruptly there's the energy of reassessing that um knight of wands coming to you very passionately um coming to you maybe a flirty message knight of wands is definitely showing up your doorstep it's a very action oriented energy and it can be movement towards some kind of revival resurrection new beginning reassessing something and saying you know what i don't want this to be done i don't want this to be over so maybe there's a a second chance with the Magician in reverse, it just feels like they can't do it alone, okay? This is something that it's going to take two to tangle. It's going to take you both to come together to merge your resources to make it happen. As far as the outcome, the Tower is in reverse. Scorpio energy, we have the Five of Cups and the Emperor. I really think it's going to be easier said than done. The Emperor talks about someone having to really step up to the plate, really show that this is what they want. You know, it's not just saying it, it's actually showing up and taking action. There's a lot of hurt from the past. And I think that Pisces is really important that you go into this, you know, um, really with an open, open heart, open mind. Okay. But um, I would say open mind, but a heart that is very cautious or you know not so quick to jump into something because the five of cups is here there's something in the past that has left you emotionally wounded and afraid okay there's hurt there's disappointment and so the tower in reverse could be you wanting to avoid a tower moment something destructive something detrimental to you more hurt more pain in the long run more suffering right so it feels like you're having to approach it very delicately and allow this person with the emperor maybe this is a father figure maybe this is your divine masculine allow this emperor to show you that they are serious that they mean business the emperor make good decisions they're coming up with maybe a plan of action on how to do it it feels like you're having allow them to take back control before you say okay i'm on board and that may be necessary pisces for you to now reconsider them because the two pentacles is a lot of going back and forth mm, i'm not sure i don't know if that's a good idea but i feel like when this person comes in and they're absolutely certain okay this is what i want this is what i'm willing to do here's a plan and it may make you feel more emotionally secure so let's jump right in let's get some more messages for you guys like share comment subscribe Pisces, we're going to start off with that lover's card, okay? Crossing the lover's Gemini energy is the queen of cups. This is your energy. So I do feel like some of you guys, you were the one that was torn emotionally or um, turned down with regard to a connection you're in. It feels like someone here didn't appreciate your love or wasn't open to receiving and giving your love, okay? And that's why the challenge is the lover's. Someone had to make a decision. Give me the five of wands, Seven of Swords came out again with the Four of Cups. So definitely feels like someone here in the, in the past or whoever you're dealing with has really disappointed you. There may have been a missed opportunity because of their own doing. Seven of Swords could be, you know, the energy of trying to get away with something, being sneaky, going behind your back and cheating. It feels like this could have been someone lying. It feels like even if this person came up to you and confessed it, it still may have felt like I can't, I can't entirely trust this person. There's a lot of distrust. And there's also a lot of conflict and feeling like, well, maybe you can hurt me again. You know, that Five of Wands is definitely some strife here. Give me the Seven of Swords with that Four of Cups here. So it definitely has caused a lot of damage in this connection, a breakdown in this relationship, Two of Cups. You know, a relationship that once was at one point very, very loving. You know, you guys felt very connected to each other. It feels like it has not been the same after that event or incident. Now, the current energy is a Nine of Wands. Two of Wands is here as well. Nine of Pentacles in a verse and a High Priestess in a verse. So Piscean energy. Pisces, something could be revealed to you. Maybe you're coming out about something as well. 
I feel like this is coming to you. There could be a message. There could be some secret. There could be something that has been left unsaid or unrevealed to you. That The veil is coming off. And it could be literally about a new beginning because the Nine of Pentacles in the verse feels like someone wants partnership. Someone wants companionship. They may want some kind of connection with you. So with a full card, it feels like maybe this person's coming in to uh, see if they can have a new beginning. What would it take, Pisces, to get you on board? Nine of Wands, they haven't given up. Eight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. The only thing, Pisces, I feel like a lot of you, you have emotionally maybe walked away or you've chosen recently to dis disconnect from this person out of, um, you know, just to protect your heart, you know, trying to be safe. Um, Eight of Cups is like not letting this person emotionally, you know, wound you anymore. So the Knight of Pentacles is a very slow approach to this connection, very cautious, you know, really thinking about your security, your stability at the end of the day. Um, not wanting to jump into something too quickly. The Knight of Pentacles, the slowest knight of the tarot deck. All right, let's take a look at your energy. We also have the Two of Pentacles. So there could be a lot of going back and forth. Yeah, especially with regard to the Emperor, the Emperor in reverse and Ace of Wands. So this is confirming that whoever this is, they're wanting a new beginning. They're wanting to come in, fresh take on things. Let's move forward. I'm very passionate. I want this. I want you. However, the Emperor in reverse is someone that you may not look up to. You may kind of look at them and you're like, you know, you're just, you're kidding, right? Um, the Emperor in reverse is someone that you may not trust. You may second guess. You may feel like they say things, but they don't actually do it or follow through with it. So it's like them coming with this new beginning. It's kind of like you look at them sideways, right? So there's the energy of the two of pentacles going back and forth. Can I trust this person? Is Are they really being serious you know are they really serious are they to be taken serious so the two pentacles could be a lot of going back and forth um unsure and again that knight of pentacles because it comes down to your stability it comes down to what you want long term it comes down to your security your stability and everything that means something to you your values and the strength card is telling me that a lot of you you've been through something that was very challenging and you don't want to go back through that again you know the strength is like i've i've <laughs> i've grown a lot i've um I've gotten through this and this was by far, you know, probably the one of the most challenging things you may have gone through um, emotionally, mentally, right? Spiritually, you become much more stronger. All right, so let's take a look at your person's energy. The magician in reverse, they can't do it alone. And I think they're realizing that Page of Cups comes in with the magician in reverse. So they're realizing that in order to manifest this change, they're going to have to make it up to you. So the Page of Cups could look like this person literally coming in, bouquet of roses, I'm sorry, send you a love letter, a text message, hey, I want to talk to you, I'm thinking of you, you're on my mind, I'm sorry, I want forgiveness. So someone could be wanting to come to you with a message, Page of Cups is a message of love, expression, heartfelt feelings, and emotions, right? Give me their take on the Hierophant, what is this about? Eight of Wands and the Fool. So someone here is definitely looking at commitment very differently. I feel like they've had time to maybe reassess commitment and what that looks like. Eight of Wands is that they're making movement. They're making strides towards some kind of movement forward, going toward commitment. Maybe this is the next step toward commitment, like being exclusive or actually having titles. So maybe it's not a full-blown commitment, but this person is definitely progressing and um, you know, coming, meeting you halfway, I would say. The full card is also, again, a new beginning. So it feels like maybe they're realizing that I got to meet Pisces halfway if I really want this new beginning. Maybe that's the only way to get Pisces on board. So there's definitely some kind of compromising here. Um, I'm willing to change my ways. I'm willing to come forward. I'm willing to take action, especially with regard to committing to you and letting you know that I'm, I'm in it for the long run. Knight of Wands, fire energy coming in, death in the verse for a resurrection. Queen of Wands is here. This could be a fire sign for sure. The devil is paired with the Queen of Wands. So some of you guys, this could be a third party. This could be like a passionate lover that they were dealing with. Maybe there was another person involved. If so, the devil in the verse could be that they're releasing it. They're realizing that that situation is a no-go. They're having to cut ties with it. You know, the devil could talk about seduction and temptation and um, cheating, right? So if that's the case, there could be an energy of having to free themselves from a third party or someone that just isn't good for them anymore. Maybe it was fun. Maybe it was like, you know, free and liberating for a little bit, but it really wasn't what they needed. So let's take a look at the tower in reverse. I think a lot of you Pisces, that is your energy. Avoiding a tower moment, not wanting to jump into something only to realize that, you know, it's going to end in, in a big disaster, chaos, drama, betrayal. So with Eight of Pentacles, you want this person to show up. You want this person to show out 
put in the time, the energy, the work, okay? Invest, <laughs> just like maybe you've invested in the past. So the Eight of Pentacles, you want them to show you that you're serious, that, that they're serious, right? That they really mean... Um, they really mean well and that they really want this more than ever because the five of cups there's still some past energy lingering and it's going to take you time to get over that temperance is like timing it's it's patience it's moderation it's not gonna you're not gonna automatically forget what this person did or what they put you through especially if you've gone through a tower moment already in the past so when the emperor comes out you really want this person to step it up you know be a leader you know really step up mean um show me you mean business and I'll take you serious. I'll, I'll rethink this. Okay. So that is what I'm seeing, Pisces. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right. Have a beautiful weekend. Take care.